literally goes down and to the left up. Make sense? Yeah. I need you to think, once you go to the ball, go forward, okay? Sure. Like as long as you can with your top hand. That's closer, but you still feel your legs literally come straight up in the air. Yeah. That's the only thing I ever want you to think about not doing is vaulting, okay? Okay, go to the rest of the group. That was a little better with the legs, but not so much with the back. Okay. And that's what's crazy is you got such good hand-eye coordination, you get really good results. But the thing is, is the game's going to get harder soon as you get older. Sure. And you're not going to be able to get away with that, and you're going to lose a lot of power because guys are going to catch all your balls. Okay? okay? So keep working on it, buddy. All right, thanks. Uh -huh. Jake, tell the guys coming over here they better hurry, okay. or they're not going to have any time. Okay, it's like eating through the plastic. Is, it's, are you sure it's from that? I looked at that earlier, but I was like, well, look at how jagged it, it is. It broke one of them, too. Oh, it did? Okay, so one hole. Dude, that's crazy. crazy. It's a pretty strong freaking string. Yeah, I mean, this isn't that bad of a look. It's all no. I thought, like, based on how jagged it was, you it's melting it. It's yeah, not, the look heat, it, that's maybe. why it's yep. the heat, it's the friction, so you might, that's why it's jagged. That'd be tough to do. I no, like, I, I mean, I was stupid. I had one like this, it was way easier to put on there. Oh, yeah. I didn't, I didn't even notice it was in there. I was like, wow. I'm that was like right through this. It would have been like perfect, dude. Yeah, that would have been, yeah, been, that like been funny. And then you could see the yellow is what yeah. you're looking for, the yellow part of the <laughs> Oh, well. <laughs> but you could, if you have more like this, you could tape them. Yeah. And you could tape, like electrical tape. And then poke through the holes, mm -hmm. and well, then put more solid too. Like put like that. a different color for you know the bottom third what of I the ball, or, or the bottom two thirds of the ball. Is I just gotta find the right style clip, where or you don't something. have to tie knot. So I'm gonna do this. Yeah, it's you're set. You could even there was a dip tie they came two. out with where you can throw it. But I was gonna say for that you just need an S hook. Yeah. Right, tie it to an S hook, yeah. boom, and then over there you need a clamp or something. Yeah. It's not so bad with the bat, I guess. It's not too bad, but I, I like that. I for think them it to just makes it harder, you know what I mean? It definitely and, does. In some aspects. In other aspects, it makes it easy because it's so light. It'll get through it. I was planning to use those bats, but I got over it with uh, something else. But because I, I like the idea of using heavy bats so that they feel the barrel. Mm. So many of these kids, you hear me talking with Marty briefly, I mean, he drops the barrel head instead of his elbow. Yeah. So it's whoop, <laughs> long, you know what I mean? Like, if you feel that elbow first, there's no way your swing's gonna be long. Literally, you get in a slot and the barrel just goes. Like it's, I don't yeah, think they get that. that. The turning they don't of your, feel your it. hips and feet. Yeah, like the barrel the just is along for the and ride like because your body when you watch his swing and you talk to him about hitting i've only had the luxury of talking and hitting for about 15 minutes of my life but hopefully i get to do that again yeah just got really lucky with like an autograph signing in las vegas at this restaurant and anyways he was talking about he's like dude quit visualizing i asked give me one thing about hitting he goes quit thinking and i or one thing about my swing and he goes quit thinking of it as a swing think about it as a turn He's like, I always thought of just literally turning with it close to my body so that it contacts. I was just in a strong position. Because he's like, dude, after you hit, there's, I mean, this whole idea matter. on extension, yeah. it helps with you staying on the ball before contact. But everything after that is there's no justice to you. So yeah. just know where you are at. Or else. Uh, okay. How's it going over there, guys? Good? Uh, yeah, okay. Why is it not good? Well, I mean, like, are you guys having fun or is it yeah. a good drill? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Okay, guys, come on in. Come on in. Let's go quickly. We only have, we're really behind schedule and I need to get back over there soon. So we have about 10 minutes. Okay, so I'm just going to start you at the second point instead of the prelim. So guys, we're going to do three drills real quick about getting on plane with the ball, uh, taking balance swings, and then eye switching. The eye switching is where I'm behind that screen and I throw a ball, and then you guys track it in 
and decide was that a strike. So now I'm going to swing. Now I take my eyes back to contact and finish a good swing and hold balance. So that's the last piece. This one, just good balance swings, but imagine an imaginary pitcher and then I switch back to the T and then take a good balance stroke and hold your position every time. Here, this is an idea of getting on the pathway of the ball. <coughs> I want you guys to use this because it's a little lighter object, a little easier. We've done this so you understand the idea of getting on plane. Most balls, most fastballs are thrown at a slight down angle. Now, not only that, gravity and spin and other forces have, a, have the effect on how the ball is delivered. So, in my opinion and a lot of other people's, the center of the ball is slightly on the bottom side of it because of gravity and its angle. Make sense? So, there are some situations where we wouldn't want to get on its perfect plane. Can somebody describe one? Hit run, moving them over, or maybe the middle infield's back and we got a guy at third, we want the easy RBI, things like that. On this, this is like a pitch where it's your at bat or you're trying to drive a guy in. So what you gotta realize is getting on plane is about making sure you start your swing from the ground up so that your knee, hip, and shoulders can all be on the same angle, okay? So, make sure you stride to this thing so that it's even, know your contact point, make sure it's even with the ball. And then feel your back elbow, shoulder, hip, and knee work underneath the string and so you can send it right back up, okay? It's gonna be a little hard at times, so sometimes changing your tempo is okay. Tell me on a couple of these if it's good or bad. Good or bad? Bad. Would you say I got more underneath it? Yeah. And hit it up, right? Okay. Good or bad? Bad. Okay, good. What, what did you think there? This angle, right? Okay, so I'm gonna slow down a little bit. About average, right? Maybe a slight duck part there. So you get the point. If you hit it perfect, it will go straight back the way it came. So take your time on this, okay, guys? And do it slowly, okay? Give me three even groups. You got one, two, three, four, five, six. Carson, you're not hitting anymore. You don't have stomach hurting again? Man, I hope that thing goes away, bud. Two, two, and two. <coughs> we'll rotate as we go. When I say switch down there, like when I say next guy, you come over here and wait, and then the, that guy from there goes to there, makes sense? But we rotate quickly, not as groups, just as individuals, okay? Okay, let's go, guys. Two and two, right? Go, uh, no batting gloves, because it was flying out of guys' hands with the huh? batting gloves on. Some dudes no. almost got smoked with the pole. You guys are hitting it this way, okay? Yeah, you need to give them some of your baseballs, though. We need the majority of those there, though, okay? Yeah. Joey, scoot forward that way. Okay, guys, you didn't give them enough balls. Joey, behind you. Why don't you guys do it this way? Hit them this way and be on that side of the tee, okay? Okay, and then I just need a couple of these. And remember, you're here. Make sure your stride foot lands even and you hit it back up. So watch it out of my hand, and then take your eyes back to it. Take your time doing that, okay, guys? All right, wait, shoot up. Try yeah. to shoot the tee that yeah. way. <laughs>
like 20 feet. 